Imagine having an emergency, like a car accident, and having no one or no way to call for help. Unfortunate scenarios like these were common all over the United States before 1970. If one was lucky, a good Samaritan would come along and carry them to the hospital. Best case scenario, someone would call the local funeral home, who hopefully would arrive in time and use their stretcher to take someone to the hospital. In any case, the chance of survival before 1970 was minimal. Change started in 1960. Dr. Eugene Nagel was a physician and assistant professor of anesthesiology at the University of Miami. He took a profound interest in the innovative closed chest cardiac massage procedure introduced one year earlier. His interest has resulted in a significant change in domestic health care that has saved a countless number of lives. Dr. Nagel felt that the absence of pre-hospital health care was an epidemic. The cure? Using existing emergency response infrastructure and adding in medical training. Miami's fire chief liked the idea, so Dr. Nagel trained crews on how to perform closed chest cardiac massage. In 1963, he met at the scene to pronounce the victim deceased, and the officer at the scene said that no matter what they do, they cannot revive victims. This got Dr. Nagel thinking further, so he, a fellow doctor and an electronics technician, worked in his garage to create the first portable EKG machine. By 1967, crews were transmitting EKGs to the hospital. By interpreting EKGs sent to Jackson Memorial Hospital by Miami's Rescue One, Dr. Nagel realized that patients required timely defibrillation and cardiac medications in order to survive. Miami's fire chief did not think that firefighters should become this advanced in providing medical care and told Dr. Nagel that he would have to go before the commission to get approval. Dr. Nagel was determined to win this battle, so he went before the commission and had one of the firefighters that he trained start an IV line on himself. After seeing him literally bleed for pre-hospital health care, the commission unanimously accepted his proposal. In 1968, the first training course was offered at the University of Miami, and one year later, Florida law officially recognized pre-hospital health care. By June of the same year, the first successful field resuscitation had occurred today when you have a medical emergency. medical services professionals are on the way within minutes, in large part thanks to the vision of Dr. Nagel.